To begin the treatment, you're going to use the Radium Cream Cleanser. With dry hands on a dry face, you're going to massage this cleanser into the skin. This is going to remove the residue of any makeup, dirt and debris that's on the surface of the skin. You will then remove your first cleanser with damp fibrella. You're then going to perform your second cleanse with the Rejuvenating Foaming Cleanser. Mix this product with some water to create a foamy consistency. You're then going to thoroughly cleanse the skin for a second time. Pay particular attention to the skin as you're cleansing for any areas of congestion. Then go ahead and remove your second cleanse with warm fibrella. Make sure you thoroughly remove every trace of cleanser from the skin. Pay particular attention around the eyes and around the nose. Now take a tissue and press it onto the skin to make sure that the skin is nice and dry to begin your next step. With a mask brush, apply a thin, even layer of the lactic peel to the entire surface of the skin. Make sure you're careful around the eye area. If there are any sensitive areas, you can apply some vitamin C serum to those, in particular the lips, around the eyes or around the nose. Continue with the remaining product on the décolletage and the neck.
You're now going to begin step one, this skin scrubber. Remove the cap and select skin scrubber. Choose your setting. Using the scraping side, glide the scrubber in an outward direction all over the face. You want to pay particular attention to any areas with blackheads and congestion. You're going to perform this for two to three minutes. As you're making your way along the face, you can discard any of the debris from the scraper on the back of your glove or onto a tissue. You can continue to use the skin scrubber on the decolletage and up the sides of the neck. Make sure not to go over the voice box. You will then thoroughly remove the peel with warm fibrilla. Make sure you remove the peel thoroughly as you don't want any of the acids to continue working on the skin. Taking some tissue, press it into the skin to remove any residue and to make sure the skin is nice and dry for your next step. You're now ready to begin step two, the Hydra Microdermabrasion. Choose the appropriate abrasion level. Turn your Hydra Microdermabrasion handle on. Make sure the dial is turned to bottle D. Perform the abrasion treatment all over the skin. Pay particular attention to any areas with blackheads and congestion. Make sure you turn the suction down when treating around any delicate areas of the eyes.
Once you complete your hydromicrodome abrasion, you're then able to perform extractions if need be. To prepare the skin for step three, you're going to take your chosen serum and apply it all over the skin. You're then going to take a needling serum or a conductor and apply quite a thick layer all over the skin. You're then going to choose your ultrasonic headpiece. Starting on about a level five, you're going to use circular motions slowly and consistently all over the skin. Make sure that the headpiece stays flush against the skin at all times and you have plenty of slip and glide. If you find you're running out of slip, make sure you apply more serum or needling gel or a conductor. This is important so that you don't shock your client. Check in with your client along the way to make sure that they are feeling comfortable. Some clients might experience a metallic taste in their mouth. Keep reapplying the needling serum if you need extra slipping glide. You can continue this treatment on the décolletage. I would avoid the neck area as it can make your client feel quite uncomfortable around the throat. You will need to reapply some serum and some needling gel before you begin step four, your skin tightening with RF. Slowly glide the RF handle 
over the skin in an upwards and outwards direction. Paying close attention to the areas that need lifting and tightening. This is a slow movement and a continuous, consistent flow all over the skin. Your client might experience the skin becoming a little bit warm. Perform lymphatic drainage as well all along the skin. You want to apply a firm but comfortable pressure with the hand piece. This treatment is particularly good on the neck. You wanna make sure you have more slip and glide to perform the neck treatment. You're going to glide the handpiece upwards along the neck and over the jawline. This is particularly great for a saggy neck and jowl area. Continue the RF skin tightening for five minutes all over the skin. To prepare for step five, you're going to apply your mask all over the skin. We would recommend mixing this mask with some needling gel so that it has more of a gel-like consistency. You're then going to turn the cold hammer handle on using circular motions inwards and upwards and on an outward direction, massage the skin with the handle. Your client will feel a cooling sensation on the skin. Continue this process for five minutes.
You're going to remove the mask with a warm towel. Press your hands into the towel to get off any excess mask. And then you're going to thoroughly remove the mask. Your final step six is the Oxygen H2O spray. Spritz the skin until the water has finished flowing. This is a beautiful way to finish your client's treatment. You're then going to press your chosen serum into the skin. You will see that the skin feels beautiful and cool and soft after this treatment. You can layer serums if you like. You're then going to put on your treatment cream or day cream. We would always recommend finishing the treatment by using an SPF for sun protection. Once you return back to your room, you want to make sure that you thoroughly disinfect your equipment. Making sure the machine is turned off, you're going to alcohol wipe all of the handles and headpieces. Remove your microderm abrasion handle. That one is going to be disinfected separately. Make sure you clean the cords as well.